This is what is happening in mosques up and down the UK and across the English-speaking world. Muslims are learning arguments against the Christian faith. Not real study. I have not yet met a real, mu a real Muslim scholar anywhere in this park. Not one. Not Hashim. Not Mansour. None of them. Shamsi, Hijab. They're all clowns speaking to their echo chambers. Excuse, sorry, don't interrupt, don't interrupt, don't interrupt, don't interrupt, don't interrupt, okay. Guys, I'm just going to have to project my voice because the Dawa team have demonstrated their manners as always. Test, test, test. Yeah, you have a time and I have a time too. Yeah, but we need we need to would you would anyone be willing to time this? Yeah? So what we'll do, how long how many how how long would you like? I have a time for you today. I came all the way just for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's very kind. So today, guys, I came late because today is Resurrection Sunday for the Orthodox Church and I've been hanging out with some Orthodox Christians. Amongst those Orthodox Christians were three ex-Muslims who've all become Christian. All become Christian. So here, here's what we're gonna here's what we're gonna talk about. You wanted to Jesus, whether is divine, who Jesus is. Okay. Who is Jesus? Okay. You explain to me. My question last week was. My question. I'll keep it. I'll keep it this way. Who was Jesus? Right. That's fine. So what we're going to do? Let's. Do you? Uh, how about three minutes? Three minutes or four minutes? Four minutes. We go backwards and forwards. Yeah. Yeah. So will you time us? Yeah. We might be here for an hour. Are you going to be all right with that? Yeah. So you can. One of you can just hold them. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. God. So if you have the first four minutes, or would you like me to? So he would like me to have the first four minutes. Okay. So tell me. Uh, Tell me when my time begins. We're doing four minutes, four minutes. Okay, so the question is, go. So the question is, who is Jesus? Now, in terms of the historical record about who Jesus is, the Gospels and the letters of Paul are our earliest evidence about the historical person of Jesus. And there's an episode in the Gospel of Matthew, chapters 13 to 20, which reads, Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he was asking his disciples, Who do the people say that the Son of Man is? Referring to himself. Some, they said, Some say John the Baptist and others Elijah, but still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. I also say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. So Christ affirms the answer of Peter. And what was the answer of Peter? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. So we need to understand who is the Christ. What is the Christ? And as we delve into this debate, we're going to look at what the Old Testament says that the Christ is. And you will see that the Christ is portrayed as a priest, a prophet, and a king to the world, not just to Israel, but a cosmological figure of cosmological importance. In other words, Christ is more than a prophet. A prophet, yes but more than a prophet. He is the Christ. He is a king, but more than a king. And he is a priest, but more than a priest. No, the Muslims say that they believe that the Jews received revelation, and so they should. But where is the priest, the temple, and the king of Israel, and the God of Israel, 
that is talked about in the Old Testament in the Quran. They only have prophets. And the reason why they only have prophets is because the God of Yahweh, the God of Israel, is not the God of the Quran. They do not follow the same religion. They don't teach the same things. How am I doing for time? In short, brothers and sisters, Christ said to Simon Barjona, that flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So that means that the Jesus Christ is the Son of the Father. Can the Father change? No. So if he has always been the Father, who has he been the Father to? Jesus Christ. Which means that Jesus Christ is eternally the Son of the Father. But the Quran doesn't even have this concept. The Quran thinks that God needs a consort to have a son. Because their God is limited. Because their God is weak. And apparently because no one pointed out to Allah that you could adopt. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will ask my brother this question and let's see if he answers the question. According to Islam, what is the Christ? What do you need to be to be the Christ? Show me in the Quran those definitions. Show me in the Quran where Christ is explained to you because the Quran is supposed to be clear revelation. Thank you. Your four minutes. Okay. My question was, who is the Jesus? Yeah? And he go back to the God, he go back to the weakness of God in Islam. There is no any verses in the Quran to say God is he's weak. In the Bible it says God is weak because he needs the help of Jesus to create the things with him. Yeah? My question in here was who was the Jesus is? And he get complicated. He says son of God. But in here, John says Jesus is God for himself. He is saying something good is, is not completely against the Bible. And in other verses, there are so many verses in the in the Bible say Jesus is God. So many verses in the Bible say Jesus is Son of God. So many verses in the Bible say Jesus is the Son of Man. There is no chance for there is no chance for any human to say that one is two, one, three is three, then we complicate and everything together. We say God, Jesus is the Father, He's the Holy Spirit, He's the God. This is in, this, he say in Trinity. He say there is a Trinity in the Bible, which is there is no any Trinity 200 years after being added to the Bible. Yeah? My question was. My, my question was, who is the Jesus? Jesus is not clear who is he in the Bible. Some say he's the Son of God, some say he's the God, some say he's the Holy Spirit. Where is the clear message from the Bible to say Jesus is he's the prophet or the God or the Son of God? It's been complicated to everyone. And in Islam, he doesn't say God is weak because he needs help. This is the Christianity says God is weak and needs the help of the Jesus. That's it. Time. And it's simple. Take your time? Yeah, it's simple. My question was... Uh, are you, are you, yeah. you got two more minutes. Do you want to use them or give them yeah. to me? No, I, I will use them. Okay. Yeah. I will use them. Because in, in Hebrew 269, it says that uh, the place saying that what is man that you are mindful of him or the son of man that you take care of him. The Christological connection is unlikely due to that there's been a question as a uh, pizza. It's eight, four, uh, seven, six. Yeah? In, in the Bible, I have been studying it for a long time, never been clear to, to me or to, to the Bible who is the Jesus. That's why I'm here to ask him. And he just go around to say Jesus is the king, but he's not the king, he's more than king. What's that mean? Yeah. Jesus is the God, but he's not God, he's more than God. He's the son of man. He's, he's not son of man, he's the Holy Spirit. What he's saying is, is unclear to any everybody. Jesus, yes, is true, he's the prophet of God. He came with the miracles to show 
the people of the Jewish people to show, uh, worship God alone. And the first day when he is born, he said that to his mother, to his mother, that I am messenger of God and worship God alone. That's it. When you have that. Okay, he's given me his 40 seconds, so I'm going to have four minutes, 40 seconds. Tell me when my time begins. Time. So the question that he asked me was, who is Jesus? And I took you to Matthew, where Christ says, who do the people say that I am? And they gave a litany of answers, and then he said to the disciples, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Barjona said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, blessed are you, Simon Barjona. Flesh and blood has not revealed to this to you, but my father in heaven. So if Jesus is referring to God in heaven as his father, is Jesus not the son of the father? That's what the Bible says. Now I asked him a simple question. I asked him in the Quran. What does the Quran say that the Christ is? And he gave him no answer. He gave no answer because Muhammad stole a term that he didn't understand and he didn't use. He didn't know. He quoted Hebrews that talks about the Son of Man. Jesus also talks about the Son of Man. And here it is in Mark 13. Verses 35 to 37, we read, And Jesus began to say, as he taught in the temple, How is it that the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? David himself said, In the Holy Spirit. Everyone say, In the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. So we've got the Son, we've got the Father, and now we've got the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is teaching David. And teaching David, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies beneath your feet. Jesus is quoting a psalm. A psalm about the Messiah. He's quoting David. David lived hundreds of years before Jesus. And this is what David said about Jesus. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will stretch out your strong scepter from Zion saying, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will volunteer freely in the day of your power. In holy array from the womb of the dawn, your youth are to you as the dew. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Amen. Everybody say forever. forever. Can a human being live forever? Whoa. So this one, this Lord, this Adonai, who was alive at the time of David, who Jesus himself quotes as referring to himself, says that Yahweh said to him that he will be a king of from Jerusalem and his kingdom will go out for the whole world and that he will be a priest in the order of Melchizedek. Remember, the question is, who is Jesus Christ? The Gospels say that Jesus is the Messiah. The Quran says that Jesus is the Messiah. When we look at what the Messiah is, then we have to conclude that the Messiah is a man, but more than a man. Because he existed before David and will be a priest forever. But he will be a king of the world. And we have seen the fulfillment of this prophecy. The church of God has gone out from Jerusalem. And Christ reigns in the midst of his enemies. There are Christians in Mecca. 
There are Christians in Medina. There are Christians in Riyadh worshipping Christ in the midst of their enemies. The gospel has gone out to the world. The church is in every land. That is who Christ is. Who is the Christ? The prophet. <laughs> the prophet. My, my question to you was, where does the Quran define what the Christ is? Define, explain that. So, don't start his time yet. So, define means to explain what something is. So, the Quran calls Jesus the Christ, al Masi, al Masiya. So, where does the Quran explain what are the qualifications to be the Messiah? In the Surah, in the surah of Mary. Okay, yeah. let's pull it up. Yeah. You go to the Surah of Mary and the, the, and the Surah of Ali Imran. Yeah? The Quran is very clearly about the Jesus. And who's the pa who's Have the you started this time? Yeah? Yeah, yeah sorry, time. And my, my, my question in here is, yeah, about the, about the Jesus. And according to the Christianity, according to the Bible, there is uh, no clear message about the Trinity or about the, uh, being Jesus, just the prophet. Because in the, uh, in the New Testament, say, Jesus is the son of Adam. Yeah? And what he cannot be the Adam. It's clear to everybody. Yeah? Adam is the father of human. Yeah? In the Christianity, say, the, uh, to be son is to be less than uh, divine, and to be divine is to be no one, no one is son. Yeah? And how could Jesus have the attribute of sonship and divinity all together? Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, in here. Christian has said that Jesus claimed to be God when they put him on, on him on uh, uh, him in John uh, 14 9. He that has seen he, he seen me uh, has seen the Father. Yeah? And didn't Jesus clearly say that people have never seen God? How come who Jesus say that? Yeah? As it say in John 5 and 37, and the Father himself which has sent me has borne witness of me. You have neither heard of his voice under any time of the sinship. Yeah? Christians say that Jesus was God because he was called, uh, called Son of God, Son of Man, Messiah, yeah? And Saber, Ezek was addressed in the Bible as Son of Man, yeah? God is no man, it's clear to everybody. The, the problem in here is, in the Bible, you're saying something yeah, about the Jesus, and in the Bible there is something else. He says Son of Man, Son, son of God. This is not clear to us because God is different. The the prophets are different. The sons are different. You say he was there the first, and he is he, he going to be there the last. Yeah. Then the father was there. If the uh, Jesus was son of God, then God was there before Jesus. is mean, he's not God too. It's very clear, and it doesn't. It doesn't give us any any answer to the question, which is we say who is the Jesus is. They just read that the Bible say Jesus is the Father, he is the God, he is the Son of God. But which is in the Bible is completely different. And in Islam, it's very clear about the Jesus. Jesus, he's been sent by God with the full of miracles to show the people how to worship God. He is not Son of God. He is not God. He is the prophet as the other prophet was. From the Adam to the last prophet to Muhammad, yeah, there is no any prophet to be, have been claimed to say, worship me instead of God. Or obey me instead of obeying God. This is the clear message from all the prophets. And today the Christians say, we, we are the true one which is have the religion from God. Then what's all these things in the Bible about the, the Jesus, which is none of them has been uh, mentioned here by the mouth of the Jesus. Jesus is the prophet and is the messenger of God, he been sent to the Jewish people. But the Muhammad, peace be upon him, on him, he been sent to the all human, all mankind. That's mine. Okay, what time has he got left?
Add that onto mine, I'll take four minutes, 13. Tell me when you're ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, quite literally, what we are seeing, I'm just, JC, pause my time in it. JC, I'm just thinking, shall we move away from the shouting? Yeah, Let, I'm just thinking, let's go over there, brother. Let's go over there. It's a lamb as it had been saved. It's just quieter over here. That way, I, this way, I don't have to shout so much. Right. Okay. Uh, what for? Start my time again. Like, yeah, four minutes. Okay, ready to go? Okay, go. So. This is a perfect example of what I talk about from a Dawa script. The brother has come here with a, a, a sheet of paper saying 60 questions for the Christian. Literally, this is what is happening in mosques up and down the UK and the Western world. Muslims are being taught a script by which to attack the Christian faith. And you're seeing it here today. Don't interrupt me. Don't pause my time. Pause my time. No, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Did I interrupt you? Did I interrupt you? Did I interrupt you? Did I interrupt you? Stop being rude. Stop being rude. Stop being rude. Now, this is the supremacist ideology of Islam. They think that they have the right to demean Christians because their religion teaches them a sense of superiority. I'm just a, a dirty kufar, a dirty dhimmi. That's what I am in the mindset of the Muslim. Okay, so now I'm going to begin my time again. So as I was saying, this is what is happening in mosques up and down the UK and across the English speaking world. Muslims are learning arguments against the Christian faith. Not real study. I have not yet met a real, mu a real Muslim scholar anywhere in this park. Not one, not Hashim, not Mansour, none of them. Shamsi, Hijab, they're all clowns speaking to their echo chambers. And this is a perfect example of their logic. I will repeat what my script tells you. Because this is what Hebrews chapter 1 says about Jesus Christ. It says this, but of the Son, he says, that's the Father speaking. But of the Son, he says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. And the righteous scepter is the scepter of his kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you. Now, what does it mean to be anointed? That is the very definition of Messiah. Remember the question was this debate. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus is the Messiah. The Messiah is being called divine in the New Testament. Very clearly in Hebrews. The same Hebrews he tried to quote earlier when he referenced that Jesus Christ is also called the Son of Man. But this shows the ignorance of Muslim Dawah. Because if they knew anything about the term son of man, they would run a mile from ever trying to marshal it in an argument. Why? Because of what I'm about to read in Daniel 7 verses 13 to 14. And I kept looking in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man. Everyone say son of man. Son of man. Coming, and he came up to the Ancient of Days, and he was presented before him, and to him was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom, that all the peoples, nations, men of every language, might serve him. So, this Son of Man, this God of Gods, this King of Kings, who was called by Yahweh, the Lord who was presented before Yahweh as the Ancient of Days to rule a kingdom that would stretch across the entire world. If you say that Jesus is the Messiah, then look at what the Messiah is. The Quran gives you no definition of what the Messiah is. None. Zero. Nada. Nothing. At all. 
He couldn't give me anything from the Quran defining the Messiah. But what is the Messiah? The Messiah is a divine king and priest. Why? Because there is a trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The plurality of the divinity is there in the Old Testament. It's there in the New Testament. And clearly the Old Testament teaches a belief in one God. So if there is a divinity shared as it were, differentiated unity is how we would explain it. That is who Christ is, the Messiah. Your turn. Four minutes. On his first word. He's talking about that John, which is he in New Testament, say, alike a son of man. But no, in that verse, say, the son of man. When the son of man come in, then that's what he's talking about, but not like a son of man. That's what it is uh, in New Testament, say. Okay, that, let's see the word of the begotten. You are, he say, uh, you are my son, today I have begotten you. The word of begotten is coming from the biologic of the father. This word of begotten is being wiped out from the Bible, which is now they want to hide it from the Bible, which is saying there is not anything like this. Yeah? And on the, uh, on, also on the source of the uh, only begotten son, terminology in the John's uh, written John 1 and 14 and 18 and 3 and 16 and 18 and 1 John as well. The son is which is Jesus was begotten as a uh, spine was some of uh, heresy in the church history. In the two days leading up to the Council of Nice in the uh, 3325 uh, AD, then Denison in Alexandra praised our source. Yeah? And they all claim that the word of begotten is mean that the uh, biological of the father and it's mean that the God has been uh, has sex according to the Bible has sex you have the marriage you make other pregnant and other day Blasphemy. he say Blasphemy. he say yeah other day he say that Jesus needs to have his own mother then he go back to inside his mother this is not accepted in any any human of any logic as well and when it's coming to the only one God, Jesus answered to the people, who, who's, who's the, who's the, uh, God is my God, the Lord is, uh, God is one Lord. And this is in the Bible, everybody know God is one God, according to the Quran, and according to all the uh, other uh, uh, prophets, which is, they came in. And he's still not clear to explain to us who is the Jesus. Let, let him use his time, bro. Let him use his time. Yeah. We'll take some questions afterwards, yeah? Yeah. You, you are okay with that? About let, let him use his time. Let him use his time. Are you done? No, it's here. It's time, yeah? When is Jesus is man? Time. Okay. Oh uh, no no no! Let him play. No no, play on. This is his time. He's got to use it. If he doesn't come prepared, that's his fault. He came with a script. The problem is his script is too big. No, it's not. It's not about. It's not about There is in the in the in the Bible. The problem is the. Do you yeah, come on. to the Bible that Jesus is not clear to anyone around the world who is God? Because in some way say he's the father, in some way say he's the Don't, don't interrupt him. Some, some he say... Don't, don't, he's timing. You're in with time? No, 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 don't talk, pause it. Don't pause it, don't pause it. Don't pause it. Okay. It's his time. If he didn't come prepared, that's not our fault. It's his fault. He should have come prepared. Still your time. According, 
recording. Uh, now please know how quiet it is right now. Time's up. Right. Okay. Right. Really, you used that. You should have come prepared. So, so in four minutes. In four minutes. Yeah. So let let's 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 let's. let's uh, right. Tell me when we're ready to go. So the question of this debate has been. Excuse, sorry, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Okay, guys, I'm just going to have to project my voice because the Dawa team have demonstrated their manners as always. However, let us let us just look of what the scriptures say. I'll debate you. I'll debate you. Let me finish this and then I'll come and find you. I'll come and find you. I agree. He was done. He was done about 10 minutes ago. He was done about 10 minutes ago. No, 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 no. I'm going to finish my four minutes. Do you want to debate me? I'll debate you in four minutes. I'll debate you in four minutes. I'm not your dimmy. I'm not your dimmy. I'm not your dimmy. I'm not your dimmy. Four minutes. Wait, wait. There we go. Good boy. Right. So, as we were saying, the brother claimed something. He said that the word begotten had been taken out of the Bible. Let's just look at that claim. Here I am reading the Gospel of John, verses uh, 14 to 17. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we saw his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So it hasn't been taken out. The Muslims are reading from a script, and they are reading from a script. And this is, Christians, why you need to study apologetics. Because the Muslims are lying about our religion all the time. So you need to know your religion better than they do. Because once you go beyond the terms of their script, they don't have anything to say as we have seen from this brother. I asked him to show me where in the Quran it defines the Messiah. We didn't get anything, nothing at all. But when we look at how the Old Testament prophesies the Messiah, what do we see? We see that he's a priest forever, a king of the world and a prophet. Now someone who is a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek, and to whom all the world will serve him. These are these things. These are these things. These are these things. That, uh, are we going to be rude? We'll do rude. That's okay. We'll do rude. We're going to do rude. Don't worry. When we're debating, we will do rude. It's okay. Let my time run down. This debate is, this debate is over. So, the Bible says in the Old Testament, the Christ, the Christ, is a king of the world, a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek, and a prophet. If he is a priest forever and a king of the world that all the nations should bow down and serve him, then he is more than just a man. A man, for sure. Absolutely, we Christians believe that he is a man. But more than a man. Because only a more than a man could be a priest forever. Only more than a man could be king of the world. We saw nothing in Islam that defines the Christ. Nothing. And why? Because that ignorant, Bedouin, paedophile, trade slaving, raider, rapist of a prophet who teaches Muslims such bad manners as these demonstrated weekly by the Dawah team is the one, is the one is the one who stole, who stole the term Christ without any understanding of what that term means. None, nada, zip, nothing, nothing at all. They don't know why Isa is called the Messiah. The only answer that the brother gave. Notice the Muslim is becoming threatening to Christians. That's the thug Islam that we've got to deal with in the park. He's becoming threatening to Christians in the park. No one is your dimmy. There is no caliphate here. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen. The, the God of the Quran 
is so ignorant, so stupid, so foolish, so lacking in wisdom or knowledge that the God of the Quran thinks that to have a son he needs a consort. Why? Because Allah is the sock puppet, the sock puppet of Muhammad. And Muhammad was a sex obsessed prophet, and so his God is also sex obsessed. Oh no, we're not doing manners, bro. We're not doing manners. We're not doing manners. Now, what would you like to debate about? The Trinity? I'm not here. I give you my time. Okay? Okay. Are, are, we, are we finished? Hmm? Are we finished? Are we, I'm not talking to you. Are we finished? Okay, it was my, nice to no, talk to you. Nice to talk to you, but you have I a good day. Time to him, yeah? No, no, we're, we're no, moving on now. So, oh, no, 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 you don't get to dictate nothing. No, no, not at all. You don't get to dictate nothing. Walk away then. Walk away. Walk away. Remember, you came in and interrupted my discussion. Oh, we'll have a discussion. We'll have a discussion. But you don't get to protest manners now. Because we got you on tape forcing your way into a conversation. This one. The one that will be aired when you interrupted this debate. So you don't get to demand manners now. So let's talk about. What shall we talk about? Let's let's talk about. What 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 is it you're wanting to talk about? You're coming to Muslim. What 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 do you want to talk about? You want to talk about the Islamic view? Okay. No, 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 you don't get to dictate nothing now. No, 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 no. What I would like to, un what? yeah, yeah, we'll talk about the Islamic tree. I'd like to know what the Islamic tree says about Isa. What is the Christ? First thing I will come to So? That's what you're doing. Is that a problem? Is there a problem with that? No, because you interrupted, remember, until I you apologize. When you apologize, do you want a civilized conversation? If you want a civilized conversation, you just need to apologize for what you did earlier. That's all you need to do. Just say sorry, we can have a civilized conversation. Okay, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Not to me, not anymore. Because you interrupted a conversation. It doesn't matter to me. And I'm not your dimmy. Right, so let's talk about what does the Quran say about Jesus? Explain to me what does the Quran? What does the Quran? What does the Quran say? What does the Quran? It's not part of your creed. So 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 it's not part of your creed. Wait, he came to me for debate. Wait, wait. Did you come to debate me today? Did you come to debate me today? Did you come to debate me today? Did you did you come to debate me today? I I asked him who's the Jesus, yeah? And he was talking about the Trinity. I think Trinity was in the Bible in the That's funny, he came to me. Yeah, yeah. I I am I am offended by the rudeness of the Yeah, just like you go to offended by I am offended by Interrupting Ali Dawa. He wasn't and you go to other people. Ali Dawa interrupts me, bro. Okay. So let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about let's 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 inconsistency. You're the man that appealed to man as having demonstrated. So, shall we, shall we talk about, shall we talk about the attributes of Allah? Yeah. No, 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 you don't get to dictate anything now. Until you apologize, there is no agreement. There is no agreement between us. There is no agreement between us until you apologize. Until you apologize. So it's okay for you to be rude? Is it because I'm a Christian? Is it because I'm a Christian you think you can be rude? Is that the reason? Yeah, is that the, but you're, you're forced you to wait for this conversation. Video, when video. I asked you to wait for four when minutes, you told me one video, I okay. be rude to anyone. do you want to talk about That's the creed of Islam? I want to ask yes, you, do, what does the Quran say about the Christ? Okay. How does it define you Christ? Ask a question, you yeah. ask a question. We'll do question for question. I will let, I will let you ask a question. Okay, we'll, we'll do question for question. Okay. But first, let's talk about okay. We'll do question for question. I, I don't know. But you will ask about the creed. 
No, you don't get to dictate anything. No, no, no. Until you are, so unfortunately, no, unfortunately, no, you'll have to, you'll have to do one of two now things. You're afraid, yeah? You now will you're have afraid. to either apologize. You him and him and him. You'll have now to either afraid. apologize. Afraid, I'll yeah? come and talk to you next no, week. No, no, no. Now, you're not ready, okay. yeah? You're no. not ready. Okay. Not ready. No, no, no. I'm ready right now. Yeah, but here's the thing, bro. My books are in my mind, The moment you interrupted my debate, I instantly had no respect for you. So I don't respect you. And so for that reason, you don't get to dictate anything to me. And, and do you know why? Because I'm not a dimmy. I'm not a dimmy to the Salafi. I'm not your dirty kufar. So, we'll do question for question, but you get to dictate nothing. I'm agreeing to a question to a question. I'm agreeing to a question to a question. You don't, you don't get to say all due respect. You show no respect. You don't show respect, you don't get respect. So, okay. So let's, we're going to do question for question. But that's all I'm agreeing. I'm here. What's I'm your here. question? I'm here. I'm here. What's your Talk question? about the Islamic tree that you're going around acting like you know everything about the Islamic tree. Yeah. Yeah. Or you have written no book. Yeah. You know nothing about the Islamic tree. Okay. Yeah. Going to Muslims asking them about the tree. Yeah. I'm here going to teach you today Aqidah. If you Great. want to learn Aqidah, Great. you want to learn Islamic tree. I'm here, my friend. Ask me. Yeah, but he does. He gets. He can suggest anything he likes. He takes nothing. You know why? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Are you going to ask a question? You want to come down? Are you going to ask a question? Are you going to ask a question? Okay, let's do a question for a question. Okay, so now I'm still waiting for your question. If you want, what is your question? Before you ask me about Anything I want to talk about? No, no, no. I, you, again, all you, if you want the discussion on Akida, all you need to do is say sorry for interrupting the debate I was having. That's all you need to do. I would say sorry. I would say sorry if you say sorry for going speaking about the Muslim creed while you know nothing. Oh, okay. Well, now let's 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 just understand this. Let's let No, it's not fair. And I'm going to explain. I'm ignorant. I'm going to explain why it's not fair. I'm sorry. I'm going to explain why it's not fair. I'm sorry for all. I'm going to explain why it's not fair. I'm going to say. I'm going to explain why it's not fair. Because the Dawah team go around Christian, look, go looking for Christians all the time. So why is it the Muslims think that they can do something to Christians that Christians can't do to them? So when we do it to them, they demand an apology. Is he going to go to Mansour and demand an apology? Or to Hashim? Okay, sir. No, we're not debating about debating, bro. I've explained why it's not fair. Do you want to do a question for a question? What I want to do is the following. Have you got any Speaking about Islamic creeds, which you claimed you know about. No, it's finished. You said you're going to speak about Islamic creeds. You no, go, no, 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 I didn't say that. Did you go to Muslims? I didn't. Did that. That's what I did last week. Okay, you did that. I'm talking so about something else. Do you know about week? Islamic creed? Do you know about it? Is that your question? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you know about Islamic creed? No, that's not the debate. Yeah, we'll we'll debate. We start the debate. He's asked his first question. Do you know about Islamic creed? Did anyone hear a question? No, not really. Did we agree question for a question? Watch how quickly Muslims go back on their word. He asked a question. Do I know anything about Islamic Aqidah? Is the answer? The answer is yes. That's the answer. Now it's my turn to ask him a question. No, notice he's backtracking on his argument. He just made an agreement and he's betraying it already. So, you've asked your question. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Oh, oh, suddenly. He, did everyone hear him say question for a question? You heard him say it. Did you hear him ask a question? So now is it my turn to ask a question? Thank you. So here's my question. My question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Here's my question. It's coming. Where does the Quran define what the Christ is? That's my question. Okay, chapter 19 of the Quran. Is that your question? What does he say? Is that your question? No, that's the second question. Chapter 19. Is that a second question? Okay, yeah. okay, we'll do that. Well, okay, I'll play by those rules. Yeah. I'll play that rules. I'll play by those rules. I didn't say, do you know about anything about Islamic creed? I said, do you know about Islamic creed? You can agree one and watch it. By the way, this is both strategy. He romans the other position and he acts like he answered the question. Coming back now. Now, my question to you is this. Yeah. Are you going to debate right now. That's my question, yeah? Because if you say no, I'm going to leave. Because now it shows you ignorant about Islamic creed, which is my point, which is I'm here to demonstrate. 
you're a man showing your guts about Islamic creed, I'm here to teach you, my friend, if you want to learn. Yeah? My question to you is the following. Are you going to speak about Islamic creed? The questions you were asking people in the past week about Islamic creed. Yes or no? Right. So we all let him speak. Now let's see if he allows me to speak. So he accused me of straw manning. But that is exactly what he's just done. He's just straw manned me. And why has he straw manned me? Because he interrupted a, a debate that we had agreed, me and the brother that's gone, me and this brother had agreed to have a debate. We were having a time debate. These are my witnesses. Put your hand up if you're witnesses to this man interrupting the debate. So for all of you that arrived late, these are my witnesses of the rudeness of this man. He interrupted my debate and now demands that I jump through his hoops. No. I refuse yeah. to jump through okay. his hoop until... Oh, notice he's interrupting! No, you answer the question. Did, were we quiet? Were we quiet for him? Yes, we were. But now he is not. And he's also a bad listener. He's also a bad listener. Because I said, no, I will not jump through his hoop. Not in answer to his question. I said, thank you. There you go. You see, jumping to conclusions. So... Here's the problem. All I need from him, all I need from him to have the discussion that he wants to have is a simple apology for his rudeness. That's all he's got to do. And then we'll have his discussion. Unless he is willing to apologize to this dirty kufar, this little dimmy, then my question to him will all be about the original debate that he interrupted. The one about the Christ in the Quran. So, I've, my answer to his question, because I will be direct. Until he apologizes, the answer is no. If he apologizes, he will get the discussion that he wants. However, I want to know now from him, will he apologize? I will apologize. The minute you apologize for interrupting Muslims, going to their debate, going to their discussion. Like you came to him last week. Did he come to you last week? Did he come to you last week? He came to you last week. Okay, he was chasing Muslims, going around Muslims, going around Muslims, acting <laughs> He goes around the park looking for Christians to debate. When he does that to other people, do you see how the Dawah team play the victim when you stand up to them? When you stand up to them, they play the victim. Notice how he's interrupting. Again, you're interrupting. Don't say to people, don't interrupt when you interrupt. You're going around to Muslims, following them, doing the exact same thing I did with you. Anyone can go watch my videos. I don't shout, I don't do shout matches, I don't do screams. I have much discussions, intellectual discussions with the people. I don't just go to Christians, you can watch my videos. I go to atheists, I go to everyone. But when I see someone doing that to Muslims, we have agreed that we will not have discussions with you, Kim. That is what we said. You're going around to Muslims, following them, trying to force yourself in there. So I, I showed you your medicine. I made you taste your own medicine. That's the only thing I did. I came to you in your discussion with this brother, and I said, if you're so strong about Islamic faith, which you claim, then you can ask questions about Islamic faith. And I will ask you questions about your thoughts to God as well. We have an equal discussion with the attributes of the Creator. God, the discussion of God, why is God in Islam, God in Christianity, you can have a fair discussion about that, I will allow you to ask questions, I will listen to you, I will listen to you, and you will listen to me, I'm not going to interrupt you, like if you see my videos, I don't interrupt the people, if you agree, except like you did with me earlier, if you agree, you don't interrupt people, okay. except like you did to me if, earlier, if, I'm going to say this, if I interrupted you, which you unjustly, did, unjustly, I'm saying, if I interrupt you unjustly, was it unjust? I don't agree with that. There you go. Well, that's, you, you let me finish what I'm saying. If I interrupted you unjustly, I apologize for that. Simple as that. Because that's the, that's the Islamic behavior. But to me, but to me, but to me, I don't believe that what I did was unjust because we did it for We can have another discussion. If you don't, then you shouldn't be going around asking things about Islamic speech because you say you don't know about it. You're going to have a right discussion. Okay, are you asking a question at the end of that? Okay, I'm saying you want to have a discussion about the attributes of Allah that you can talk about the Christian. Yes or no? Okay, so we, 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 we're, we're talking. I, I have actually watched Muslims debate for an hour about how to debate. It, 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 it's quite funny, it's quite funny. This is not the first time that I've had to debate about debating at the park. 
in answer to the question, will I go around and, and, and continue to challenge Muslims? Absolutely. Look at who we pointed to as the so-called victim. This guy. <laughs> this guy goes around the park asking Christians yeah. about Islam. All the time. All the time. Yeah. This guy last week interrupted a debate that I was having last week. So this is his victim. This is his victim. This brother came to the park today to debate me. To today. And we have it on film. Wait, hold on. I'm going to embarrass them. I'm going to embarrass them. I'm going to embarrass them. Because last week, last week, last week, last week, I came to debate this guy. He refused. And this guy chose to debate me last week. He chose to debate me last week. Him. Him. It's on film. Did you choose to debate? Did you choose? For you or for him, for nobody. Did you choose to debate me last week? Talking to someone you come Did you choose? No, I have spoke to him. We've got it on film. We've got it on film. We've got it on film. We'll show it in a flashback. So now I have a. How are we doing? You okay? Yeah, good. So I have a question for you. I have a question for you. What? Why don't you want to answer? But you are so. I haven't got, over there. I haven't got anything but you so you. you you were I but you had lots to say to over there. I have nothing to say to you. A simple question. I don't answer. A simple question. I don't want to hear. Can you worship the face I of Allah? I don't want he yet. Can you worship the I face of Allah? I don't want to answer nothing to Can you. Can you worship the face of Allah? I have nothing to you. But you but you had so much to I say over there. I to you. Why, why were you so I'm, brave I'm over good, there but I'm now I want to challenge you on Islam you got nothing to say. I'm good on Matthew. Right, let's talk about. I don't want to talk. You're not good on the Quran. I don't want to talk. You're not good on the Quran. I don't want to talk. But you're good on Matthew. You. So I you know, you know more about our faith you. than you do about your own. Yes. There you go. Yes. yes. This is the Happy. Taoists for you. Okay. This is the Taoists. Happy. They spend all their time learning how to attack Christianity. I just want to ask you. No, no, no. But can you can you worship the face of Allah? It's a simple question. Yes or no? I don't want to talk to you. Just give me give me a quick answer. I don't want to talk to you. Can you worship the face of Allah? Can you worship? Why why can't he talk to me? You make a decision. Yes, of course you. Shall we have a talk? Yeah. Okay. You see, he saved you. Come here. Come here. He saved you. No, no, because he's talking here. It's just being polite to him. He's just being polite. Come, come. Now notice, he's telling him not to talk to me. He tried to tell him not to debate me, and he wanted to debate me and we have it on film they're all busted they're all busted they're all busted no no ladies and gentlemen now ladies and gentlemen now ladies and gentlemen I'm fine to shout for as long as I need to but I would prefer to talk so here's the thing Muslims go around the park challenging Christians all the time Hashim does it Mansour does it Adnan does it Muhammad Hijab does it this guy does it he does it they go around looking we have you today coming to me for a debate so so this is this is the supremacist complex of the Muslims Okay, do you want to have a discussion? They want, want to be able to do it to you, but they're offended if you stand up for yourself against this thuggish, salafist Islam. Find your balls, Christians. Don't be bullied by these people. Stand up to them. I will continue to challenge the Ali Dawas, the Mansours, the Hashims. This guy, this guy, God bless you. Yeah, leave this alone, forget about So, if you want to debate about your deen, about what it says about Isa, we can do that right now. If you want to apologize for your earlier rudeness that you've already said was not rude, but then said I was rude when I did it to Ali Dawah. 
Which means that, obviously, he thinks that if a Christian does it to a Muslim, it's bad. But if a Muslim does it to a Christian, it's not bad. That's what he's saying. The double standard of Islam. Make no mistake, Christians. In an Islamic state, you will be made into second-class citizens under Sharia law. And you are commanded by, Christ, by God to stand up against injustice and so you are commanded by God to stand up against Islam so my question to you are you ready are you ready to apologize one second everybody please no no one second one second please you very warm to coming to me say come come we go here it's quiet to talk why not talk to you because my English is no good yeah, exactly. If my English is good, I don't understand it. If my English is good, I... Christians, you need to be back here. If my English is good, I squeeze you. Billahi Lazim. That's how you back it through, by the way. Next, let this brother speak English. The way you are going to understand you know what You know what you've done today? Yeah. You've demonstrated that Muslims find it easy to lie and we're going to prove it on camera. No. Okay, you can prove you it. Can prove, prove, it. You prove it. You're going to prove it on prove camera. It. What we I have you, one, one second, okay. we have prove you on it. camera agreeing to debate me you when i challenged him yeah. you wanted to debate me we have it on no, camera you can't and now me. you've just lied you to, to everyone you here to okay. and why because muhammad allows muslims okay, to lie Bro, it's listen. called takia would you allow me to speak listen to me i did come down and talk to him i'm gonna show him i'm gonna show him the most hey him strong I mean, please, okay, let's do. Remember, you've got to be sincere. Your faith I'm, I'm teaches you sincerity, so no fake apologies. I'm being sincere. Okay. I, was, I didn't give a fake apology. No, you, you gave no apology. That's, that's, that's it. Exactly, that's if it. I'm he gave sincere, no apology. If I'm so he lied. Would you allow me to speak or not? Because he would said that he did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We interrupt one another, bro. Remember? No, no, no. You see, remember? Question, I said to you when you first interrupted me, we will do rude. Okay. That's you what I said when you interrupted okay. me at the beginning. Okay, and I said if you wanted a civil conversation, want you had to apologize. And you haven't apologized, so you can't complain. Okay, sure. Again, I want the civil conversation. The answers, which is the, the old Bible, the old Testament as well. An eye for an eye for an eye. We believe if someone transgresses against you, you can transgress the same way against him. So I don't believe it's unjust, again repeating what I said, because you did it to Muslims. If you did not do it to Muslims, <coughs> everyone has my videos online. Everyone can go online and watch my videos. I never come to anyone, interrupt any debates like Hatun does all the time, like all your team does all the time. You mean like you oh, interrupted oh, me? Oh, we have you on tape doing it, bro. Why did they do it? Why did they do it? We have you on Why tape doing it? it. Why did they do it? Because, because you, it because you accused me. You did it the week before. Yeah. Yeah. You did it the week before. And what? And, 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 what? Yeah. 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 and you don't think Muslims are doing it here in the park? Oh, no! Which ones? No! Which ones? Which ones? Mansoor. Hashim, Paul, yeah. Ali Dawa, yeah. we have them on camera, okay. interrupting yeah. Christians. Yeah. Yeah. Do you differentiate? Do you differentiate? Okay, let me have a discussion. Yeah, I came to the mosque. Bro, let me have a discussion. Look, do you differentiate between the group like yourself and your team who goes to preach? What team? You and the Christians who come to preach Christians. Okay, do you differentiate fair. between the preachers? Do you differentiate between the preachers and the laymen? I don't believe if I have a discussion with a layman working, that's not me looking for Christians in the park. It's not. Whoever coming, I talk to him whether he's an atheist. Yeah. So you've never started that conversation? I never go to a debate. Yeah. You've never started a conversation? You've never gone up to a Christian and got, oh, would you like to talk about Christianity? Layman, you've never done layman that. Layman or, or the team who does the... You, you've, no, 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 no. no. You've never done it. I'm saying the... the have team. you done it? To the layman. Layman, yes. Oh, there you go. So he has done it. So he goes around the corner looking for Christians to debate. No, no, I don't. But he's just don't. admitted it. I don't. I don't. He's, oh, he, oh, so you haven't. I go around. If there is people in the park, I have a discussion. Whether the Christian, atheist, or whatever. But That's you've what got. Said. But you. So you've never initiated a conversation with a Christian ever. I don't know the Christian. I speak to them. Not religion. There you go. If they're Christian, I speak to them. If there you go. So he has. So I don't go catching Christians like you do. Looking for Muslims. I don't go around catching Christians. You were going to Muslims. We're going around fishing. Muslims. What about the pantheists? What about the pantheists? Oh, you see, this is the point. What do you mean? Exactly, exactly. What do you the mean exactly? You haven't asked a question. I'm going to answer. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so exactly. He does it because like all the Muslims, they want to, in the park, sorry, quite right for the correction. All the, yeah, quite right for the correction. All the Muslims in the park throw the accusation on myself and some of the other Christians 
that we only go to the Muslims. We have videos of me debating atheists. Last week, just last week, I debated an atheist, a group of pantheists, uh, a pagan, and Muslims. So it's Did not going don't? round Did just looking don't? for Muslims, as don't? they're trying Did to I say suggest. You don't? Did I say you don't? I didn't say so, you don't. But I don't do what you do, going around. Go, go on, go on, what am I doing? I'll, I'll and you don't do it, remember, you don't do it. I don't you go don't around, do I don't do it, yes. I do not go around knowing who is a Muslim and who is not, and then I'm saying, because you've got to say that in the, in the Bible, because you've got to show me a video where I do the same attitude that you do, going to Muslims, do you worship X? You worship them because you got no, you I did it today, right here. Yeah, because you do it. So you I do already, do it. I already proved. I've already so you do do it then. If someone does it, there you go. You do do it. it. So you do do it. That's the first time. Thank you. So he does and do I've it. Done it to someone who done it. So he does do it. To someone who done it. Yeah. yeah. Brothers, someone who let's done. start. So let's. He's can not. He's not. He's not agreeing. No, no, no. He, he's, he's not agreeing. No, I don't need to agree. All you needed to do was apologize. All you needed to do was apologize. Why you not agreeing? Why am I not agreeing? No, no. I'm saying Why what, am I not agreeing? Is that your you, question? What are you I'm saying right now? You're saying you're not agreeing. Yes. I'm saying if he's not going to have a civil discussion, I will allow him to speak. I'm not going to do it. Like right, you did. No, I'm saying now we're going to start with this. Oh, oh okay. This okay. So now you want civility. I ask you, do you want a civil discussion? Simple, yes no, no, no. You don't get to do that when are you, you interrupt a debate. Honestly. Are you shaking? Honestly. Are you no, I'm just saying, are you, you interrupted a debate. I'm here. Yes. I'm here. So I'm let's talk about. Okay, he you wants to debate. Want to let's debate about what the Quran says about the Christ. Let's debate that. Do you want that debate? Oh, he doesn't agree. Why? Are you scared? Are you afraid? He's afraid. I will have. He's afraid. I will have that debate. Okay. Once you have the debate, I oh, oh, you so he's afraid to have my debate. You're afraid to go asking people around questions when you don't know about. I'll be doing that okay. next week. Okay. Do you agree? Do you agree? You do not know about the intricate details of the Islamic creed, and you're acting like you do when you ask the question. If you claim you do, present your evidence. Do you know about differences between Islamic creed and the creed? Some of them, yeah. Okay, what attributes do the Ashara believe in? Oh, no, 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 we're doing question for question. Oh, oh, you don't know, that's why you're changing no, it, yeah? No, doing that's question right, for... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Does everyone remember we did question for question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Isn't it amazing how quickly they run from it? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. so he asked me the question, do I know about the differences between the different schools of creed? Intricate, intricate okay. details of the different... And what I said was, I know about some of them. But now let me ask him a question. What does the Quran, how does the Quran define the Christ? No, no, I didn't. Because no subject was agreed. No subject was agreed. If he wants to run from my debate, he can do. But that was the debate that we had. What does the Quran say about the Oh, I thought you didn't interrupt. I thought you said we wouldn't interrupt from now. Do you remember you said that a few minutes ago? It's quickly how quickly how amazing how quickly you forget. I have not finished. You said so you do interrupt. So we can interrupt. So we can. Oh, we can interrupt. We can interrupt. No, we can't interrupt. Oh, we can't interrupt. But he can interrupt me. And you're being Do you see, guys? Do you see, guys? This is his tactic. Do you see, guys? He doesn't have answers. How the Don't Muslims will him. treat this you if they establish a Sharia. You will become second class citizens. Be a man. Uh, yes, so be a man. Let's I talk about the Did debate we were having that you interrupted. Did I see your lunch? Is that I'm ready to have that debate. So let's have the You're debate not, you know about what the Quran says about Isa, about him being the Messiah. Let's have that debate That's your because that was the debate. No, I haven't finished. That was the debate that you interrupted. Now, I want to point out the inconsistencies for a minute because no, the Muslims. The oh, no. Oh, did he do that to me? Yes, he did. Guys, you've got to call them out on their duplicity. Notice how they behave. Notice how they debate. Notice how they behave. This is what you will happen to you Christians. You will be made second class citizens. Like the Copts of Egypt. Like the Christians of Pakistan. Like the Christians of Malaysia. Like the Christians of Indonesia. Like the Christians of Sudan. Like the Christians of Morocco. Like the Christians of Algeria. 
everywhere where Islam dominates, Christians have been made second class citizens. And Muslims at the park think that they can treat you as second class citizens as well. He's going to answer your question. Notice how they behave. Notice how they behave. I will not be silenced by these Dawah thugs. I will not be browbeat by these Dawah thugs. I will not be intimidated by these Dawah thugs because that is all they are. And we Christians need to find our strength again. There is boot. There is boot. There is boot. Let us consider the hypocrisies. Let us consider the hypocrisies that we heard just from this man. Hypocrisy number one. Muslims can go around the park, can go around the park looking for Christians to debate, and that's okay. But when a Christian does it to a Muslim, something is wrong. Something is wrong. He's running away. He doesn't want to debate about the Messiah. He doesn't want to debate about the Messiah. He came to me saying, if you're a man, he said, if you're a man, I challenged him to a debate about the Messiah and he ran away.